Hello there, my tulips. Welcome back to my channel. It is yours truly, Miss Bliss. So I'm not filming with my regular camera because the battery needed to charge. So I am filming with my phone, but I most certainly wanted to get this video out to you guys. So today I am talking about none other than the cream of nature. And I think this is the twisting custard. I'm sorry, twirling custard. <laughs> so, I have been looking for a really good curling custard for my hair, but sometimes I do twist too. So I said, well, I'll just give the twisting custard a try because I'm still sure that I can use it as a curling custard as well. So let's start with the benefit of this particular product. So basically what it's supposed to do is to find and elongate your curls. So I won't lie, it most certainly did that. Also, it has a other few good benefits about it. It is supposed to protect your style from frizz, no shrinkage, and no dryness. So that's a plus. So I got to be honest with you guys, as far as my perm rod set goes, my hair definitely feels very moisturized. It doesn't feel weighed down by products. And it definitely elongated my curls. So it was true to what it's supposed to do. Now let's get into... So let's get into the texture of this product because for anybody who has not had the opportunity to try this product out, you're probably wondering what the texture of this is like. So this is the texture and you have to be very careful because it is very movable. It kind of it, it kind of has the texture of jelly. That's the best way that I can describe it. It even sounds like jelly if you were to shake jelly. So definitely has that particular type of texture. Let me go ahead on in so you guys can see it on my finger. So you guys, it don't take a lot of this product. If you stick your finger in there just like I did, it's going to come out just like so. I don't know if you guys can really see it because again, I'm not using my normal camera here. So yeah, it's very light. It's extremely lightweight. So it's excellent, excellent for curls. Now let's get into the scent of this product, okay? So... Like any other argan oil or cream of nature, like any other cream of nature product, this product smells horrible, absolutely horrible. I don't like the scent. The scent does sit in your hair. If your scalp get hot, you're going to smell this product in your hair. If it's hot outside, you're going to smell this product in your hair. So this is just one of those things that I do not like about this product and speaking of the things that I do not like let's just take it a step further so you guys may cannot see with this particular camera but this product left a lot of white residue in my hair and I only use just a little bit of this product I did not use a lot so that alone is a turn off for me that could be the ultimate reason for why I may not purchase this product again simply because it left white residue in my hair now, let's get back into the positives of this particular product. You get a lot for your money. I did not spend a whole lot for this. It is extremely affordable. I believe I paid, I believe the going price, I'm sorry, for this product is about five bucks. But I actually paid about three bucks because I caught it on sale. I caught it on clearance. The size of this is, I'm trying to find the size. So it doesn't even tell me what size container this is, but you definitely, definitely get a whole lot. Another good thing about this product is it has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no petroleum. So that's definitely a plus if you're looking for something more natural for your natural hair. So this product is extremely easy to use. Using your fingertip, apply a generous amount to wet the tangled hair else. So I did not use any other products besides just this product in my hair. And I still got the white residue. Now the time before last, I did incorporate gel with it. So that was probably a big reason for why I had the flakes. But this time, no gel, only just this product. Well, I'll take that back. I, I did use a leave-in conditioner. 
but I still only use just a little bit of this product and I still had the white residue, which is a no-go for me because come on now, come on, I gotta use a leave-in. So this is a 11.5 ounce. So you're definitely getting a lot of pain for your buck. So by the way, if you're wondering if this is something that I will purchase again, absolutely not. Simply because I do not like the white residue. I do like that you get a lot for your money. But all in all, the presentation is what really counts. And so if I'm having white residue and my hair is like looking bone, but I got white stuff in my hair, then that's a no-go for me. So for me, no, I will not purchase this product again. If you've tried this particular um, product from this line, let me know what your thoughts were. Did you like this product or not? I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you tulips in the next one. Smooches. Mm -hmm.